Okay, finally, I'm very excited. I'm we alive. did it. I'm alive. So am I. So am I. <laughs> no, but I was so excited just to get to interview you the last time, and I was like, oh my god, she's in studio. I'm so excited. I so did. you were in Europe the last time, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And now we get a taste of normality and connectivity. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, and actually see people in person, right? I mean, yeah. Like, well, last time, I mean, you. I think you live. Is it London, Paris, yes. like L.A.? Yes. You live everywhere. Yes. Where's the yes. best food? Oh, the best food. I gotta tell you, the French are good. Not Ooh. London, sorry. Not lo <laughs> I love that I didn't even ask you which one's worse and you were like, but, I'm offering this up. <laughs> but you know what? They have some really good international food. Yeah, like Indian I like food Indian food. Yeah, yeah, Indian food there's good. Yeah, but the French are good. Yeah. Mexico is the best, but we didn't, <laughs> I love Mexican food. We, didn't, we didn't put it in there. Yeah. I grew up in Texas, so I grew up with Tex-Mex, which is different, but we, we, talked about we had authentic it. and yes. we have Tex-Mex. I like, yes. I like both. Me too. Um, but I will say the last time we talked about it, it was tacos. You were, you were telling me the best tacos. Where are the best tacos in LA? If I want My to house. Oh. <laughs> My Fine. House. Yes. I'll have to come taste them and hang oh, yeah. out. Um, that's, I get very creative with you, the tacos. You love cooking? I love cooking. Yeah? I love cooking Mexican food. Uh. And I love like, look at me. <laughs> Do you know, I, I was going to that taco place when I was a, like a little girl. And my, my house is the second best place for tacos. That place called El Taconazo in Coatzacoalcos is the best cochinita tacos in the world. You have the, the sexiest voice on the planet. <laughs> You have to teach me how to sing. Oh my God, if you can just, I just, I tried, even upstairs I was trying to have your like rasp and like your, and it's just, it's so cool. Anyway. Just um, work really hard and don't sleep and you'll get to it when I you're do in that, your 50s. and I still sound like It'll a chipmunk. It'll come when you're in your 50s, <laughs> trust me. So wait, so wait, I didn't know this, but I saw the pictures and I guess you posted them and it, you met Eminem, but you accidentally spilled water on him? How did that happen? Oh my, you see, I, people don't, I don't look like this happens to me, but I have terrible stage fright. Oh. I'm just a really good actor. Oh pretends. my gosh, you are. It's not happening, but I really get it very bad. Like I go dizzy, my mouth gets dry. And so I have a song <laughs> that I put in my head that helps me get through it. Please which say is it's Eminem. Lose yourself. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you hear that, you feel like you can do anything. Yeah, that's right? true, that's true. The so beat, I yeah. hear it in my head, and I, and I was going to present at the Oscars, yeah. which is really nerve-wracking, especially yeah. if you have stage fright. But when you're you, that's crazy. Oh, I'm like this, you know? If I, I were you for one day, I would never be nervous. Oh, no, I'm like, and then I come out like, hi, yes. but I'm dying inside. You're a so, great actor. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> they should give me an Oscar just for <laughs> presenting in the Oscars. Just for presenting. That was a great acting job. And this one day, I was extra nervous because I hadn't slept. I was jet lag. I was feeling shaky. And so this one time, I'm drinking the water because my mouth immediately goes dry. Yeah. Even with the water. And I am thinking, I'm walking towards it in my head, thinking, lose yourself, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm singing the song in my head, and then it, I kind of feel like it's not sinking to something, and I, I am like drinking the water, and then I go, wait a minute, have I lost it? I go to the person, is lose yourself playing right now? <laughs> Oh, uh, because I heard it like in a stereo, but he was not announced that he was going to be at the Oscars. Oh. As I was ready to come out, he was on stage playing Losers, but I didn't know and that. surprised I him. knew everybody that was at the Oscars. This was a surprise. And so I, th I am so nervous that I think it's me, and then all of a sudden, wait a minute. It was really scary, by Wouldn't the way. Wouldn't it have been great, though, if everyone would have been like, I don't no, know what you're talking I about. I know. I don't hear a thing. I, I was actually <laughs> embarrassed to ask. I hesitated for a minute, and it was the end of it. And in this moment, I'm like, more nervous, and he comes out exactly on the side that I am in. And I just, I'm so nervous. I go, I love you, I love you. Oh, you're shaking the water. <laughs> I spit it out. I was, I drank, and I said, I love it, I love it. That goes like, so much worse. Oh my I God. Know. Oh I my God. God. And then I see that he's like in shock with water all over. And I go, First of I'm all. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and they're like, go, go. I'm sorry. And then, I, and then they're like, go, go. And I go, somebody take a picture. <laughs> 
I took a picture and then I left. You both were terrified. It's so humiliating. We I all. still had to go and do it. And the next day, I went home and I said, oh my God, my hero thinks I'm a freak. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the next morning, they asked him because it was a big deal, it was a surprise. Yeah. Uh, did you enjoy going this time? Because when he won for that song, he didn't go. And, yeah. he's, and he said something like, oh, I, I really enjoyed it because I got to meet Salma Hayek. Yeah, I got, yeah. That was so cool. I don't know if you know this, but like a lot of people like you. <laughs> but I spit <laughs> kind on Kind of him. a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of might be an even bigger deal than Eminem. So he, 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 like, and I no, love baby, Eminem. He really looked very yeah. terrified. He did look terrified. It's yeah. awesome. <laughs> so, I know. She has that effect on everyone. Um, no, I have to say, Puss in Boots, this movie, y'all, is just nominated for an Oscar, but it's literally played in my house more than any other movie right now. My kids are obsessed with it. Do you get this everywhere you go now? Yes. yes. I mean, I didn't know I was going to be the most famous for becoming a cat. I know. You're not the most famous for that, but for my six-year-old son, maybe. Yeah, I am. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, if it he heard your voice, paws. he'd freak out. Soft paws. I know. They love it. He does the dance, everything. I swear to you, he watches all the time. It was such a surprise because we did it 10 years ago. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Yeah, this is the sequel, and we thought it was not going to happen. Thank God that cats don't get wrinkles. <laughs> so, wait, are there any animals that you're afraid of? Yeah, I have a, actually a phobia. Oh, like yeah. of which animal? I'm always called to be the collector of the animals. Like, uh, there's a spider, there's a tarantula. Okay, calm down, I pick them up, I bring them outside. Yeah, me too. But snakes? I don't oh. care if it's a Scorpio, I'm not afraid. But snakes, I have a phobia. Yeah, so tell me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because, because I specifically remember as a child going, first of all, how many milk ads do I need to read and drink milk to, get, to look like that? You know, like those ads when you're a kid? Um, and secondly, like, how did you handle that? That's a, cute, that's a python, I, isn't it? I can't think because I'm still going around the fact that you said as a kid. I was... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but that's because we look the same age, because you found the fountain of youth. <laughs> like, like... Well, you know, I had to go on trans. Because you... if, I, if I was not on trans, if you look at my eyes, I look a little. No I one was done looking it. at your eyes. <laughs> that's the thing. If you really study my eyes. If you really. You have yes. to focus on that. Yes, um, yes. Yeah, I mean, this was, I remember this as a kid. I mean, even Britney Spears ended up doing that thing with the Python thing. Yeah, it was just yeah, such a culture, started, pop culture yeah. thing. Yeah. But they didn't have to go on trans like me. And, and the thing is that you cannot... Call... Did you tell them that you, like, Quentin, did you tell them that you were terrified of snakes? Yeah. Oh, and did it just, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, Robert Rodriguez said, well, Madonna wants your part. If you cannot dance with the snake, I call Madonna. And I'm like, Madonna doesn't want my little part, OK? <laughs> <laughs> so don't try to. They try to manipulate you. Yes, <laughs> but I, I, I did it. I was proud to, because when you're acting, you have to become someone else. Did that help? That's probably Yes, right. absolutely. That's how you do everything. But it's, it was, I was very proud that I was freed of my phobia. I didn't yeah. have to give her my phobia. She got to be, and, and also, um, you girls are gonna like this. I, I study a lot about the, the meaning of a snake, yeah. and it represents your inner power. So my, when I was going on trance, it was about dancing with my inner power. Like having a dance with my inner power. And I, I gotta say, girls, when you are sad, yeah. or you feel like you have no strength, close the door, Put some music this is what I do. and dance what while I do. nobody's watching <laughs> until you get chills. But it does. It makes me feel so good to dance. Yeah. I love movement. Yeah. It's your power. And when I close my eyes, I picture I look like you. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's is a few days away. I know this is a big holiday for you, right? Yes. It's me in, too. In, in, our con in my country, it's the, the day of the love and of friendship. So what a beautiful day. Yeah. No? Yeah. And, and in my house, it's pretty big because it's an anniversary that I have with my husband and it's also my daughter's saint day. Oh, I love that. Yes. So it's a big, it's a, it's a big day. So wait, you once got a big surprise on Valentine's yes. Day. What was it? 
So I was engaged for a long time, but every time it was getting close, I would chicken out. Oh, why? Like three, four times. Well, look, I didn't get married until I was 41, so I, I always had a phobia for the marriage thing. Yeah, I and understand. So I was kind of famous <laughs> for it. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, my husband flew my parents secretly, oh. and on Valentine's Day, they took me to the court, like on an intervention. <laughs> like, I don't like this dress. I have to get a special. And um, they say, sign. They spoke in French. I don't know what they were saying. I was looking at it. And I did it. And that's my first wedding. <laughs> I'm <laughs> the first wedding on Valentine's Day. Do you know I've married him four times? What? I've married Francois four times. But what do you mean? Never like, been divorced, because then after I was like, <sighs> and I said, okay, I kind of like it that I'm married now. <laughs> I want a party. <laughs> and so we made a huge party. But I didn't like the cake. I was waking <laughs> in my honeymoon. I, why did I take that cake? It looked like from outer space. I just wanted a normal wedding cake. And so we went on a vacation, and then I did a surprise uh, wedding for him. Yeah. With a nice, proper wedding cake. Yeah. You know? And then... Why yeah, the fourth one? Because recently we went to the same place with the kids, because the, the third one was just with the kids. We were, the, the whole family went to the same place. Yeah. And then they all surprised me with the same thing, but reverse, now he surprised me with that. Oh, that's nice. The cake was okay. I will say... <laughs> Control, but I'm not a control freak. It's actually not fair how unbelievably talented, hot, and funny you are. <laughs> it's not fair. Oh my God. So, wait, let's talk about Magic Mike's Last Dance. So, what's the movie about? I mean, I think we have a clue, but who do, who do you play in the movie? My name is Maxandra, and Maxandra um, has kind of lost a little bit her way because everybody kind of underestimates her and undermines her, like her friends, her family. And she's got a lot of potential, but, you know, she's getting to a certain age and never did something in her life that was like her mark. And on top of it, the husband cheats on her and she's in the middle of a divorce. Mm. And then this guy comes along and gives her a dance that says, just like, reminds her yeah. of who she was yes. and what she wanted. So they go on an adventure. <laughs> this, that's, I, we, I want to be reminded of yeah. who I am. If, yeah. Is that how you get reminded I of who you recommend are? It. I recommend it. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people would love to find themselves in that capacity. <laughs> so we decide to put a show, to put a show in a theater that belongs to me in London and we are going to do something crazy and different. That's like the greatest tease for the movie. I love that. It's like a fresh start, too, and empowering. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is empowering. That's yeah. the thing about the movie. It's funny. It's really fun. It's sexy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but, that I mean, is an except understatement. for Channing, he's not sexy, but the yeah. rest of the movie, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then on top of it, it's really empowering for women. Yeah. You, you, I mean, I already knew you could dance, but like you, yeah, it's incredible. Was that fun? Was that part of the draw for this role? Yeah, I mean, it was like going to the office every day. There were 12 strippers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> every day dancing there. I mean, the, the, the thing is that I became kind of close to them because they're not even strippers. They're like really good dancers, like amazing dancers yeah. that were playing strippers. But anyway, the dance, I didn't have to do any of that because for once, I was not stripping, it was the man who was Which is nice! Me. That's why these movies were so nice and popular as well. However, I did learn that for this dance, because it's so technical, and you do have to learn some moves, and if you make a mistake, you know, you can poke him in the eye with your stiletto, or like in one of the rehearsals, I had to put my legs in a position and, and hard, and I'm not like the most 
like hard person. Like I don't work out that much. I don't have a lot of muscle. And so he dropped me. He, and he dropped Yeah, you? I was going down. I was upside down on top of, I was going down. So to grab me, he grabbed onto my pants. <laughs> and then my pants were about to come off. So me, instead of put my hands on the floor, I was grabbing on to life and moving. And he's like, don't move, you put your hands break on the your floor. Neck. And he's like holding me. Finally, somebody came and took me away and I'm still holding till the end. <laughs> till the, the end, end, I was holding <laughs> onto my pants. I'm on the ground, I'm still holding onto my pants. So it is technical, you have to learn, you know, you have to rehearse and learn, but the audience that have seen it, seem extremely happy with the dance. Yeah. <laughs> so I really recommend that you go watch it. <laughs>